got for you. First up, from CSI to being Mary Jane, all eyes are on today's guest. Here to tell us all about his new movie, Gary Dordan is here. Yeah. <laughs> them eyes, honey, them eyes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and also, we have an excellent Easter egg <laughs> that will send one lucky audience member home with what? $500. <laughs> You, it will have you cracking up. Yes, I'm here for that. <laughs> and later, we have a heartwarming story to share. We're going to introduce you to a woman who is taking her skills to the streets to help the homeless. Mm -hmm. And I promise you guys, you're going to absolutely love her. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that. But first, with all my separate wife tee hee hee darling. <laughs> yes, I'm ready for some girl chat. I need to get my life today. Right. Don't let love it. Love it. Okay. Need it. I just heard something really interesting and I just couldn't wait to share with you guys. Have you guys heard of the repulsion theory? No. Have you heard no. of that? No. What is it? Okay, well, an editorial piece published on Elite Daily says that the more you dislike a person when you first meet them, the higher chances that you'll end up dating. What? That person, yes. Interesting. But no, if you think about, if you think about maybe, I, I know me, I used to like bad boys. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, at first I used to be like, oh my God, you are such a jerk. Yes. And then I find myself like attracted to them. Maybe it's just, I don't know, that they're energy or, or something. Because I, for some reason there's something sexy about rebellion. Yes. And then think about it, it dates back to grade school. When that boy is mean to you. And, and they hit you. you. That's the boy that likes you. It's yes. so weird. Right? Yeah, I mean, I'm usually repulsed. If I am repulsed by a guy until he tells me something really good, like I have a small business, I have a small you fortune, know what? I have a small restaurant, that I have crazy. a small liquor cabinet, I, you know, things like that. Yeah, it's yeah. like then I get like interested. I'm like, oh, I don't hate you anymore. Come on, <laughs> let's get Yes, I do have girlfriends that like the guys that don't pay them any mind. Yes. You guys, you, you, somebody over there is hopping and really? into it. Yes. That is you, girl, and I'm gonna pray for you because yes. <laughs> I don't get it. I never understood girls that like guys that don't like them. I, I'm sorry, Wait, I want a guy a that adores me. Me too, that's honey. True. Oh. Yes, but that's so, yeah. hold on, but yeah, that's, that's when different. you get older. That's that when is you get no, I've always been that really? way. Really? Never I been, think that's why Wait. I always liked older guys, because I felt like older guys, like, if they really liked me, they Even if I you. didn't start out liking them, they liked me so much that I'd be like, you like me a lot, you're so nice to me. I like you too. Wow. Guys that liked me way too much, mm. it was actually a turn off. See, I, was I, was I, was, I was one of those girls yeah. until I always say I got burnt. I didn't get burned, I got burnt yeah, by one of these, one yeah, of these like Don't jerks. say the burnt word at all. Why? Because nah, it has an that, STD connotation. Yeah, that, that's not. Yeah. You didn't have, you didn't have that kind of burn. Okay, well, well, let, let, me burn. Burn. Okay, well let me explain well, myself. Well, she didn't say let... burning sensation. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what I mean is, is my mom always said, you play with fire, you're you gonna get, get burnt. Absolutely. So, what I meant by that is, I didn't get burnt, I got, I got, I got that your feelings the, hurt. She got a third degree. Got a I got a third degree. Uh, yes. <laughs> but like, tell me if I'm wrong. When I meet a man, I know right then and there if you can get it or you can't. How about that? <laughs> I know from the moment I meet you, I know. Do I need to stay away from this person? <laughs> I absolutely no. You I guys agree. don't think so? Sexual discernment. As I yes. got, as I got, I got older, it. as I got older, yes, yes of course. You now see, I know. What you're talking about is that it's a certain age for every woman. And some women know it younger, some women get it older when they know their woman powers. That's what I like to call yes. it. Yes. You know, when you yes. know you yes. got that superhero, that vision, and you like, okay, I see you right there. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. going down. Yes, okay. <laughs> Now let me That's tell you, what talking about. I think it's crazy that so many men think they pick who they're gonna have sex with. Like so right. many men think like, oh, I'm gonna get her tonight. Mm -hmm. Guys, newsflash, we pick you. How about that? You don't pick oh. I think so. I love that. And, and I'm sorry, but there's never been anybody that I did not like that I was gonna but give the time of their life to. Wait, Adrian, oh. I have to say Monsky. though, yes. I have, I have a frisky. lot. Jeannie, I know what you're talking about, because I have a lot of good, just good dudes, good yes, guy yes, friends. I love yes. them. And they're like, I can't, I can't even get a, I can't get a girlfriend because I'm too nice. So yes. I guess, ladies, we at a very young age need to learn yes. from, from Adrian. The, the jerks <laughs> like the and nice the bad ones. boys, they're not worth it. Of they're course, course not. what you're talking about not. is called the friend zone. And we know what the friend zone is. Yes. Right? Ain't getting that zone. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. At all. <laughs> don't even play yourself. You the don't. problem is that have we already decided that in advance when we meet them? Like, mm, you're going to be in the friend zone because I can't get with sometimes, you like that? Sometimes, yeah, but sometimes you start off as friends and then you end up falling falling in love. Yeah. And I think that's the best way, honestly. Yeah. And falling some women love. will play games. Yes. They'll be I in the friend zone. I thought you meant like zone. mistake, like. No, what, what? What do you mean? What? <laughs> like a friend you don't really mean. No. To give it to. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's what I mean. Dang, I yeah. didn't mean to do it though. Like, oh, yeah. okay. But see, no, what no. happens is, like, maybe you didn't, you made a mistake. Maybe it got yeah. late. Maybe you had a little too much to drink. Maybe that's you it. were going that's through it. something. A lot of times you might be grieving and yes, something like happened. Yes. And then you, <laughs> and then, and then you wake yep. up the next morning, like, what did I do? I know. Okay. And then it once you been. cross that line, that's it. It's a mess. And then, it's yeah. weird. And then yeah. you like Always me, and then awkward. what we gonna do? Then he gonna start stalking you, and then he wanna know what. Why? He discussed his so, feelings. Wait, you so put him in the friend zone friend. after the fact? Wait, 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 y'all. Y'all never heard of people actually being friends with each other first and then falling in love? Y'all yeah. never heard of that? Yeah, of course. Well, no, right? yeah. I think no, no, no. But that's, that's, that's not being put in the friend zone. Right. If you're being put in the friend zone, that no, means I'm not you talking are... about being put in the friend zone. Okay. I mean, just like of course. naturally. Yeah, I mean, of course. you know, you guys yes. are friends, blah, blah, blah. And then after a while, you start. That's how, honestly, my, my sister and her husband um, started. They were friends See, for a whole I, year. I don't believe that. No, no and, they are, they, mm. they, and it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think boys and girls cannot be platonic. I think men and women can be platonic. I like I that. Agree. that. I like I that. Agree. Real Tamar, women, Tamar, real men. I have so, no, Tamar, I have lifers. Like, no, I have lifers uh, that were either in the friend zone or even like, like <laughs> not in the friend zone, but that are friends with me today, that we have just platonic relationships. And I like having male friends. Mm -hmm. You gotta have that different perspective. Well, my male friends are Judy's, they gay. You know, <laughs> and that's just it. You know, no I'm straight telling... guy friends at all? Why? Because why at would some I have point, a they... friend? Can I ask a question? Can what? I ask an honest, honest yes. question? What? So every platonic guy friend you had, now let's be really honest. If you told them, I want to sleep with you tonight. They doing it. Are they going to say, <laughs> absolutely not. Exactly. We are absolutely <laughs> friends. You step away from Thank me you. with all that body. Thank uh, you. This is true. Uh, but it takes two to tango. Thank and there you. are men that if you put them in the friend zone and you keep you. them there, they're like, all right. They'll respect yeah, exactly. it. And they're respect they'll respect it. And that is the woman power. That's the power we have as yes. women. So start using it. Use it. There we go. Use it. There we Use go. it. Shut them down. Easter is here, and we're dying for Easter eggs. So we made a game of it. It's time to play. Excuse me? <laughs> when you hear your name, get on your feet. Go have a Pantheon. Where you at? That is a jam I want. Where you at? lovely teammate will stand behind you, and one by one, you'll select an egg that your host there will pick and crack on your head. If there is nothing inside, yeah. you are safe and you're still in the game, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. If it's ooey gooey yolk, oh! 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 <laughs> you're oh. excused from the game <laughs> because you are out. The last contestant who has not been excused from the game is going to take home $500! Yeah! Let's hop to it. Joanna, which egg would you like to pick? Which one? Oh. All right, I'm feeling a good vibe right. from two. Earl, you do not want to have your fall in this beautiful you know head. <laughs> Think about it really good. What number are you going to go with? Three? Three. Three is my favorite number. You got all these I three. Know. Oh, my God. Oh. Um, Listen to the audience. They not helping. They not getting prepped. They're not helping. Um, <laughs> oh, God. This could be yours. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Oh. 12 is kind of leaning to the side. <laughs> it is. It might be heavy. Yeah, it looks it like might I got a little heavy. Weight. Okay, here we go. You guys count it down. Ready? Aim. Crack! Oh! oh! <laughs> Excellent. You're still in the game. Oh, 
she's heavy. I don't want to ruin your glasses. Crack! Oh. Ah. Yeah! Get you out of sight. <laughs> I mean, yes. if I don't, I'll, I'll be... Me hold your, yep, your there we go. Oh, thank you. Lonnie! <laughs> Lonnie! How does she end up One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. You're ready. Yes, you I'm ready to go. All right. Then I've got my blood flowing. You know, what is this I hear about you almost not making it into Hollywood? What happened? When I moved to New York, I started playing in bands, and I had about four bands, and I was doing musical theater, oh, wow. mm -hmm. and I was going to Strasbourg, oh. and I didn't think that I would ever do it uh, for a living. Mm -hmm. Sam Jackson hadn't come out yet. Morgan Freeman had just started really taking these roles on. But I didn't yeah. think it was for me. I didn't mm -hmm. think that people would be... Right. Checking me out. Yeah. And Debbie Allen saw me in Paris, and oh, wow. a year later, she wrote me a part on Different World, so that's how it... Yeah! Wow. Wow. That's how it did. That's how it did. I used to watch that all the time. Let's talk about being Mary Jane. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. I love you on that, love show. that show. Now, obviously, you're great at doing sit-ups, but <laughs> a lot of the scenes in the show, you're just very hot and sexy. It's a sexy show. Yes, I was really happy is. to be a part of it. I saw the first season. The writing is so good on yeah. that show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's such uh, you know, liberation watching the show yeah. because you see what the actors can do and you see stuff that you don't see in other TV shows. So exactly. I was really happy to be a part of it. How was it working with the beautiful Gabrielle Union? Yeah. Yes. Gabrielle, yes. I love her. I love her. She came up to me 
10 years ago, six years ago, and she said, why are you gorgeous? I want to work with you. And I said, oh. yes. And then we were working together. It was really interesting. We had a lot of stuff. We had a lot of lines. Uh -huh. And I think she was really distracted because she got some boyfriend or something. Some basketball <laughs> player. I don't know basketball what the player. guy's name is, but, you know. That is hilarious. Yes, yes. A little bit. You tried uh, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Your new film, the title of it, Mysterious Ways, is really intriguing to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Lonnie. <laughs> Gary, as former agent on CSI, you were often called in to investigate questionable suspects. In this game, each of us has been charged with a crime that we may or may not have committed. Mm -hmm. You must use your interrogation skills to determine if we're innocently gorgeous mm -hmm. or gorgeously guilty of the crime. Yeah. Let's play gorgeous or guilty. Gorgeous or guilty. Oh. You know, they never gave me hot perpetrators when I was oh, in that really? show. Oh, really? Oh, OK. I didn't interrogate anyone. Well, I cannot believe they charged a pregnant woman with vandalism. This whole thing must be a huge misunderstanding. I was painting at a friend's house, and then the cops showed up. Here, fine, check my bag, check my bag. Yeah, let's fine, see what fine, you, fine, uh, fine, fine. I've gotten your... Yes. Really? Oh, oh. You going somewhere? I just keep that in my bag. Right. But, but you know, I, I use some of these paints to paint my daughter's room, so. OK. But uh, the gasoline is questionable, but you but are it's... really hot, so I think you're gorgeously innocent. Really? OK. I'm just going to say wow. it's something about, you know, you being very, very innocent, you know? OK, so, so, so innocent? I'm, I'm innocent? No, Im not. <laughs> <laughs> and get away with anything. That's probably true. Yes. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't believe I had to come all the way down here just to prove that I'm not a thief. Just because I'm from the block okay. doesn't mean that I don't own tons of my own sparkly rocks, OK? Latinas love jewelry. I mean, they can't even hear me because it's pretty obvious where this is coming from. But really, you could have stole some better jewelry than this. I could have stole, so... <laughs> I think she's guilty. Yeah. So. I'm gonna need your badge number for this inconvenience because, no, I am <laughs> innocent, so sir. Wow. Oh, I got the all of this time. stuff at Hoya Bebe. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why you're here. They're charging me with larceny, especially when I was just trying to stock up on toilet paper. What the heck? Toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your butt is not that big, okay? Seriously. Okay, no, it's not. Okay. It's not, but you know what, though? No. I need some help here. I eat a lot this of chia seeds. But it's only toilet paper, man. Okay, would a face like this lie to you? Absolutely. She's guilty, right? Yeah. She <laughs> said Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right. Finally! Awesome. God. All this money went and fit in my purse. Oh, my God. <laughs> Counterfeit money, do wow. I? Of course not. She's all real. Except for my wig. All right. I'm getting a lot of good vibrations from my crowd here. Right. I'm so happy that you brought my pay for the right. show with uh -huh. you. So okay, what we doing, you. detective? What's T-Bow? I yeah. I'd say they're marked bills. Uh-huh. And somebody usually puts this in their bank account, so I I'd, I'd have to say that you're guilty. Me? But maybe this is. No. Maybe, maybe I mean, she got sex and sex and sex and sex. All right, I'm from wrong. wearing that black jacket so and his book. She yeah. always double down. Let me get my coin. Yeah, you might want to get your money off the oh. table. All right. Oh, you can't leave it there. <laughs> Y'all got everything wrong this time. I'm telling you, this oh. is my bag. My name. It's Gary Dordan, oh, okay? God. It is. That's who I am. Hello, look. Look at this. Look, I got the credit card. Oh, my God. I am Gary. How did you get my ID card? <laughs> Are you trying to steal my identity? Because I'm Gary, okay? You can say what you want, but I'm just going to say I am gorgeous. Wow. I like to celebrate Easter with my peeps. I'm not talking family or friends. I'm talking about these cuties right here. Oh, oh they're so cute. 
But hold up. Before you toss these sugary sweet snacks into the Easter basket, we've got some new ways to eat them. Check this out, peeps. It's time to show me the bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Started, so let's make some speedy bunnies. Mm -hmm. First, you grab a cream-filled snack cake and cut out a chunk about a third of the way back like this, see? I'm then loving. you use some white frosting as glue and put it in there, and then you sit your bunny in there. It acts like a little speed belt for the bunny. Then you take you a pretzel like this, and you put it upside down, and that acts like a little steering wheel. Oh, that's you kind of glue it like that, right? Ah. Then you take you some marshmallows and your marshmallows are gonna be the tires on the side. See? Auntie Lion is the go. best. This little bunny is running on 24s, ah. y'all. Yeah. You yeah. can decorate your car with candy or sprinkles, hey. whatever is your speed. And when you reach the finish line, you'll have this. Oh! Uh, that, that is so cute! cute. That is so cute! Yeah. <laughs> chicken or the egg comes first, but we do know that a chick's got to have a place to rest its beak at night. That's I know right. that's right, right? Mm -hmm. So guess what? I got a chocolatey, salty solution. I'm going to build some chick cribs. Yes. So, first you got to melt you some chocolate and peanut butter chips in the microwave. You can set it at 50% for one minute. So you stir up these little chocolate chips and then you heat it up um, for another 40 seconds, Lonnie. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then now you're gonna crush some pretzel sticks like this. See, look, mm, bam, bam, bam. And then you pour the melted chocolate over the pretzels. Ooh, that looks so good. I know. <laughs> I love everything okay, sweet and salty. Bowl. That looks yeah. so good. Thank you. Okay, uh -oh. <laughs> so mix up the pretzels until they drown in chocolate and they're totally coated. And then you grab a handful of the mixture and press it into a greased muffin tin to form little nests like this. Look at that. Ooh, won't he do it? That yes. is so cute. Now, look at this. You put a little jelly beans or some, you know, robin eggs at the oh, you bottom. You decorate the house. That's what you do. Yes, yeah, she has to lay her head down sometimes. And then you put the little chickadee. Look at that. She done moved that on so it. That is so cute. She's home. Every bird got to go home sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at, look, at the, look at the final thing. Bam, look how cute that oh, is. That is so cute. So cute. That is so cute. I'm All sure. right, now I've got the perfect way to kick your day off right. That isn't just a flash in the pan. Here's how to start your morning with rainbow Easter cakes. Oh. Ooh, I know. All right, so you start actually by cutting them into pieces. Oh, I'm so sorry that I have to do this to you, little buddy. Uh, no, you just, right, gonna, oh. Just gonna <laughs> chop it up Yes, yeah, sometimes like you gotta that. cut that bird, girl. Exactly. <laughs> so you just chop them up like that, and what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna add them to the pancake batter and stir. Now, once it's all mixed up, you just scoop the batter, and you're gonna add it to a greased pan. Voila, just Ooh. like you make regular pancakes. And the marshmallows will start to melt and turn your pancakes into the most beautiful rainbows. That ain't no flapjack. Thank you very much. Now, your stack of goodness will look a little something like this when you're done. Voila. Check out my rainbow Easter cake. Oh, Adrian! Wow. Isn't that pretty? 